Okay guys, future Chloe here before we start this second video um, haul advent opening. I don't even know what to call these things anymore. But in the last one, I announced that I was going to do a giveaway and um, in order to give ample amount of time for people to enter because I uploaded that video so late, I decided to wait to film the portion where I selected the winner. So I have a ton of extra goodies in here other than just the Pimba Planner stuff and this will be going to Martha M. So thank you all of you who entered. Um, I'm so happy to have subscribers like you guys that stick by me even when I'm slow to upload and I get, fall very behind. But Martha M, if you could um, message me on my planner Instagram so that I can get this on the way to you, hopefully it'll get to you before the holiday season. Um, but yeah, let's jump into the haul video for this week. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing my second December haul and advent opening. As you can see, there's a ton of stuff. I have um, some subscription boxes, I have my last GP sticker studio, and then I have a lot of days of advent calendars to open for you guys. I even have my Simply Gilded advent calendar that just came and I haven't opened any of the ones that I was planning to open before it got to me. So I'm going to open all of those on camera so you guys get to see my reaction, which I think could be fun. But let me move all of this stuff because there's lots. Those are the advent calendar things. I don't even know what I want to start with. All this stuff I'm super excited about. Um, I think we'll start with like a smaller order and then we'll go into kind of like the bigger mystery boxes and stuff like that so and the advent calendar stuff i will warn you guys just in case you don't want to see them like i said i'll have scribble prince co that advent calendar with once more of love the sticky committee planning roses and simply gilded so if there's any of those that you guys don't want to see or don't want to have spoiled those will be at the end of the video and i'll warn you guys beforehand but first off let's go through this sticky committee order this was from her not most recent release, but the one just before that. And um, I picked up her Tsum Tsums, which were the new release. And then I got some of the washi and um, header overlays that I had just used. So I got the Tsum Tsums, one in silver and one in gold. I love Disney and these are adorable. I'm thinking about putting the Olaf ones into some spreads because they're really cute. Um, but you have like Lilo and most of the princesses. You have Maleficent. Um, really, really cute. So there are those. And then I had just used my dot headers in silver. So I picked up another one of those and um, the stars bottom washi. And I got it split, the split one, which I really love that she offers that because um, being able to get two spreads out of this is really nice. So that was my little order from the sticky committee. Next we'll do, oh my gosh, I'm just so excited about everything. Okay, we'll do Wonton in a Million. So this was for her Black Friday, um, like sale, and she had lots of fun things. Um, we'll start, let's get the freebies out of the way. So it comes in this like little menu, and she always does her little like post-it note, which I think is so cute. I have my other one too, so I'm gonna stick that up there. And then um, I already have one of the menus, so I will put this to the side. And then this was the package of freebies that I got. I don't know if it was because how much my order was, if I was one of the first orders. I'm not too sure what all the specifics of that were. But I got the Crazy Rich Dumplings journaling card, which is really cute. I actually haven't seen this movie. Um, I'll probably rent it um, when it comes to like Redbox or something. Um, but yeah, so there's the journaling card, nothing on the back. And then we got this Once More With Love washi addicts sheet, which I actually just purchased one of these from Once More With Love when she reopened. So I'm glad to have a second one because I'm definitely a washi addict. <laughs> and then this was her little sampler with like stuff to come, which is really sweet. And then we got some Simply Gilded bows. These are like in all of the colors of the rainbow, which is really nice. So add those to my collection. And then we got these little like vinyl die cuts of the macarons, ice cream, and bubble tea. So those will be nice to, I might put these on something. That would be cute to put on like the cover of a planner or something. 
So those were all the freebies, which I can't believe she did that many freebies. That's really nice. Let's do the washies next. So she released the Planner Girl washi and then her New Year's washi. The New Year's washi um, was supposed to have black foil on it, but it ended up with gold. And then this washi was supposed to have gold and it ended up with black, but I'm all good with it. I love both of those and I think it looks really good the way that they came. So this is the Planner Girl washi. It just has, who is that, Steamy? Yeah, no, yes, no, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, see, I told you I'm learning. So it just has Steamy and the little planner and glasses and a little pen. Um, and I really like how simple it is. I think this will be really nice to put on, um, like pen pal letters or to decorate a planner girl spread um and because it's so neutral you could literally tie it into anything um and then this is the little new year's bundle um she did sell them individually but i wanted both so this is the one that has the characters on it and i'm not sure if i have a spread that's going to match this but i'll definitely put it on like my Kiki K set up for January but just because it's really cute but um it has Steamy and Suey and um there this one has like the swirly eyes it says cheers has little glasses not glasses well yeah glasses but like drink glasses um and it's really long, the pattern. Oh, and that's where it starts to repeat. So that is the full one. Oh, you have them kissing, that's so cute. Yeah, I really, really like this. I think it's really nice. And the yellow background, I was afraid it was gonna be like super bold yellow, but it's just a tiny, tiny bit yellow. And it actually doesn't say 2018 anywhere on it. It doesn't say a year, which is really nice. So I think that was her plan was that you could end up using it for multiple New Year's things. So I'm glad that I don't have to like get rid of it after 2019 is over. And then the last washi is this skinny one, which is just like a pattern. And it has the gold foil hearts on it. Um, which they kind of look glittery almost like they don't just look like gold foil they look like a glittery gold foil or like almost holographic can you guys see that I don't know it's really pretty but you get like three rows of little hearts on there and of course a black background so those are the washies that I got and then I did pick up some of her sticker sheets that I was interested in just because I was ordering might as well um, so I, I was actually running low on my Netflix binge stickers, so um, I got those. This was the New Year's sheet and the New Year's goals. So I really love this sticker right here. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but that's adorable. Um, and then like the little kissing one. And then we have this countdown here, which I love so much. Her like, I guess her vision for it is... Um, it's like the seconds counting down um, and it's like a whole storyline which is really cute I don't know if she saved it on her Instagram story, but she like went through it on there and it's so funny um, But I'm definitely gonna use this as a countdown to the day because I think that would be really cute And then you have them like kissing and partying partying which is really sweet And then we have the work ones on the computer. I love these. I'm actually running low on them So now I have them in her new paper as well And then lastly I got these lazy day ones and I love the little sloths. They're so perfect and I just, I just don't feel like it today. Um, so yeah, those are the few sheets that I picked up from Wonton in a Million. Next, let's do Caress Press, um, which this is the mystery kit. So if you don't want to see the mystery kit, skip forward a little bit. I'm so sorry, um, but I'm obsessed. I'm so happy that I'm on her mystery kit list now. Okie doke. So... There was an oopsies, I guess, with the note card, and so um, she's she sent the mistake ones, but she's sending an extra in the next mystery kit, I guess, to make up for it. It was supposed to have like a whited out area, and it didn't, so it's just a pattern. But I'm not I'm not upset about about it. I could I could write on this with a black pen. So there's that, and then um, so I guess 
you get so I have the mini kit subscription I don't know if like all the extras are the same for like the ultimate kit or whatever um, but I could definitely get away with a mini kit to do a full spread that's why I signed up for the mini kit but and you do get the little extras so the notepad is an extra and I believe these three things are an extra and then the rest is just what comes in a mini kit so she did do some overlays these are gold you get like popcorn some corners a full square and then these little popcorns and stars and then we also have these fashion girls which is really cute they have little Mickey ears on their shirt which is really nice and then all of the snacks and then these are the glitter headers which these are such fun colors I think I want to do this spread in either March or May I think that's my decision um, but then this is the kit here it's called binge and so this is like the little freebie which is all the date dots we have the functional page here with all of your icons check flags and flags and deco these are the full boxes I love this double box as you can tell it's like a Netflix binge uh, like sleepover type kit and it's really cute we have the half boxes little things and sidebar headers um, more functional stuff you have your work labels some boxes and sidebar stuff um, and then we have your extra full box over here date cover-ups weekend banner flags and bottom washi so I'm very excited about this as soon as I opened this I was I was very happy because you guys actually told me last year right before she closed to sign up for the mystery kit and because she was closing I obviously couldn't so as soon as I saw that the mystery kit was happening it was perfect and it was also perfect timing because um my GP sticker studio subscription had just like ended so yeah let's go into my fox and cactus order here so I got washi from fox and cactus I was really bummed because I didn't pay attention to her social media that um, she ended up like getting rid of a lot of her Christmas stuff she had stuff that like was overstock left so I didn't get as many Christmas stickers from her as I wanted to but I was able to score this washi here which is the cutest thing ever we're putting it on my family's Christmas cards because we're crazy dog people like there's crazy cat people and we're crazy dog people um, so it's the dogs in Christmas sweaters, which is the cutest idea ever. And they're all different types of dogs in all different types of sweaters. This little white one has antlers. The boxer is adorable. Um, there isn't one that's like my dog, but that's fine. Probably the German Shepherd is the one that looks closest to my dog. Um, but they're just so cute. I really love the boxer. He looks... He looks really fun um, but yeah so I don't know that I'm gonna have a spread to use this with necessarily but like I said we're gonna put it on cards and maybe I'll find a special place in my Kiki K to put some of this in um, yeah I wish I had a, a kind of whimsical Christmas spread that I was planning to do I'll have to look at my rewind planner I might have I might have one in there but I highly doubt it but it was just way too cute for me to pass up um, so there are those and then I ordered a ton of stickers because Fox and Cactus is in Australia so I feel like whenever I do order I just have to order all the things and it came with a super sturdy um, cardboard thing which is nice um, and then this was the little like thank you card with the cute fox on the back so I'm definitely gonna save this for a journaling card um, and then we got the little November freebie with the be kind and all the like little Christmas type things. Okay, so I was able to pick up a few of her food little things. They ha She had these as like a $2 Tuesday or something like that. Um, and I didn't get them then, but she did restock them. So I got the fish and chip ones for not when I get fish and chips because I hardly ever, but like for if we go to Wingstop or anything like that, I think that's perfect. And then I also got the vegetarian pizza because um, I'm obsessed with pizza. So there's that. <laughs> and then I got a lot of her daisies because daisies has such a neutral like well her shirt is white so she matches everything and even though I'm a blonde I'm technically a naturally 
like I'm naturally a brunette so that's how I justified it and I'll get to use her a lot more because Lily the blonde her outfits are purple and I just don't have a ton of kits that are purple so we have the anxiety one here which I was actually running low on anyway so I got another sheet of those. I got the little cat couples. I don't know if this is one or two, but I got both of them. So this one has like movies, shopping, and like an angry one. You saw all the covers, which is really cute. Um, and then we have this one here, which is like the couch, dinner, and a hug. What else? Oh, this one is video games, which is really cute. Um, and then I got the Christmas Lush Bath Bombs, which I love. I got her DSLR camera. She has ones that are kawaii, um, but I just got the regular ones. We got more of the neutral Erin Condren planners because I've actually gone through quite a few of them, so I needed more. And then I got these. I forget what she calls them, but they're like the not having it ones. I thought they were so cute. Again, in Daisy. These I love because my, my best friend is obsessed with sharks, and so I have to find ways to use these. But they're like the great white shark. I forget what she calls them. I wish she like printed the name because they're really clever. But it says like, just keep swimming and you've got this. So I think they're really cute. Um, and then we have the little coffees and teas. There's tea on here as well. We got the laptop girls in Daisy. The party ones, I love these. I love how upset she looks. <laughs> like this is me, because I don't, I don't usually go anywhere for like New Year's Eve, so I think it's just really cute. Um, so there's those. I got some of her nurse slash doctors because I needed more doctor stickers. These I got in Lily because there's like multiple different outfit colors, and so yeah. Um, I also got Lily in the payday one. These are adorable. I love the fur coat. <laughs> um, Lily in the pajamas. Um, I actually have this sheet and I've gotten down to like I think two of them. Um, and then we got Daisy for the party ones. She has like the champagne and the little party popper. Um, we got the McDonald's. I love the one with the steering wheel. Um, the winter fall candles i don't know when i'm going to use these but they're so cute this is like one of those sheets that i just hoard um and then we have the lilies with the christmas sweater and we have the winter bucket list and i got these again in daisy um but there's just a lot of like cuddling up survive the cold outside i need one of these for every single day because i'm way too cold and then these um are kind of just like an extension of this but i really like her like reading in bed or cuddled up with the tv remote so that is what i got from fox and cactus i really love her stickers um and i needed to stock up on some more <laughs> okay let's do um let's see let's see let's see Let's do GP Sticker Studio and then I'll do the Simply Gilded, like, mystery and then all the advents. That sounds like a plan. Sorry, I'm just like thinking out loud. So this is the last one and it's so sad, but it is such a good, I think it's a really, really good one to end on because it's really pretty. I love it so much. So let me just take everything out like I normally do. Um... So the last one that she had was kind of like a travel one, um, but this one I would say is kind of similar in that sense that it has some like travel inspired stuff, um, but it all, it's also more like of a city type thing. You guys will see. Um, so we have a pen here, which is really cool. Um, it's just silver. I love silver things. So just a ballpoint pen. Um, and then we have the post-it notes, which look like a pinata, and I kind of love that. This would be really cute for May, um, but it also could just be a decorative horse. I think that's what it's supposed to be, but when I saw it, I thought pinata. Um, <laughs> and then there's a pin that's exactly the same, um, like horse pinata looking thing. So, and it's silver, which I love. So I'll put this on like a little bag or something. So there is that. And then we did get some washi, and it is foiled this time around, which is fun. Um, she doesn't always do foiled 
washi. She does it every once in a while. And if you guys like this type of stuff, like the kind of extras that she puts in here, she said that she was still going to do certain types of it on her website. So I would definitely follow her on Instagram to see when she comes out with stuff like that. Um, so yeah, this is the washi tape. Like I said, it's kind of like an abstract um, type of pattern. It has, here, let me move this so you guys can see. It has like the little splotches with the grid pattern in the back and then the little like floaty lines are silver foiled. So really pretty, very neutral. So probably could get a lot of use out of it. Um, we have her quote cards, which are in kind of an abstract um, shape, which is really cool. I haven't seen her do that in a little bit. And they're very muted colors in this kit, which is really nice. And they have the little foiled accents on them as well. So there are those. And let's see. I'm glad that I have a few of these kits kind of stockpiled so that I can still do setups with them because I took a break from using her like monthly kits um, to do like my August or my October. November and December setups. These are the die cuts. Um, as usual, she has like fashion girls, decor items, stuff like that. They are glossy. She's been doing glossy die cuts for a little bit now. There's a lot of chairs in this one, which is interesting. This like fashion flat lay is really pretty. We have some greenery, a teapot, another chair. Oh, she did do some of these like clear ones, which is really cool. Um, and then the clear ones here are a handbag, um, a chair, this like cozy beanie, and then the feet that say explore on the side. And there's silver on both sides, which I don't mind. I love silver. <laughs> so those are all the die cuts. Let me move them to the side here. And then we have the little insert, which I've already made plans to use these um, next year as a way to journal in one of my TNs, which I'm very excited about. So they will start getting used. I haven't used any of them so far, but I have plans for them. And this one's dotted on the inside, which is really nice. So there's that. You get a ton of pages in this one. Um, Okie doke. And then I'm so sad that this is the last one I'm getting, but it, it's another like sticker album and the inside is like the cross pattern. But this is what I like hold all of my foil and like little sticker sheets in. So uh, I'm so sad <laughs> that I'm not going to get another one, but it's okay. And then we have another like little sticker kit here. It's the same format, I'm sure. Uh, but you get like functional boxes, headers, and cut apart icons to do headers, more boxes. These are her tabs that she has in the kit. Um, so we'll pull those out. Um, we got some washi, date cover ups, and your deco sheet there. This is a really pretty kit. I think this would be really nice for May. I'll have to see what comes along, but I like that idea so far. Um, okay, and then lastly, we have the papers, which this is so pretty. I love this paper here with all the, like, houses and cityscape. Um, and so there's that one. And then on the back is the, like, abstract pattern that's on the washi, which is really nice. And then we have the leaves, which are foiled. And then on the back another abstract light pattern. And then we have the mountains. This is really pretty. It's not showing up on camera that it's kind of dark, but the background is dark. Um, and then on the back of this one is like a blue abstract pattern. And then we have the vellum here, which is like a tannish background, splotchy background with the crosses. And then we have this geometric um, acetate with silver on both sides. So I'm happy with it. I'm sad that it's over, but I'm happy that I got to fill my mystery kit hole in my life almost instantly with the, um, Crest Press 
uh, mystery kit that's now going out. So I feel good about that. And because it's like the Chris Press kit is significantly less expensive than the GP Sticker Studio one. Um, I'm saving money too, which always makes me feel good. So yeah, anyways, closing that chapter, trying to move these out of the way so that they don't get crumpled or stuck in something and accidentally thrown out because we all know that I would do that. Um, but let's do the mystery kit from Simply Gilded. This is the Northern Comforts and I did get the five millimeter um, add-on washi for her um, for her mystery boxes from now on which is very exciting. So we'll go through the extras first. Um, so we have the I'm Very Good Company journaling card there. And it looks like that's rose gold foil. I don't know if everything's, it kind of looks like everything's rose gold foil. Um, and then we have the sticker sheets here, which I swear this is the same horse that was in that GP Sticker Studio um, um, mystery kit. That's cool. So same, same format for the stickers and it's rose gold foil. Um, and then we have the little inserts here and again rose gold foil. I'm gonna open this up. I think all of hers are, I swear, I'm gonna cut myself one of these days. I need to learn to like not put my fingers in danger in hauls. How embarrassing would it be if one day I like cut my finger on camera? That would be horrible. Anyways, so yeah. They're plain on the inside, but little inserts there. Again, rose gold foil. Um, we have the post-it notes, which are just the little hot chocolate with the marshmallows. And then we have this keychain, which so tempted to put on my keys, um, but it has the bear and then fish and a star. And it's like a little heart. Um, what are these called? The thing, like you pull, you can pull them apart and then there's also a clip. Um, and then we have this, like, tag. This reminds me of a, like, a lug luggage tag, uh, but it's not, I think it's more of, like, an ornament, but it's, like, a plush, um, little bear. And then, lastly, for the extras, we have the die cuts. Um, so we have little horses, and some little bears, and some little bunnies, which is really sweet, and they're all foiled as well. I feel like... Getting something from Simply Gilded, you can assume that it's going to be foiled in some way, shape, or form. Um, so there are those. And then this little pouch here holds all of the washi. Um, so this is the 5mm add-on for this time around. Um, you get... Can I open this? See? I'm just... I'm risking it again. Okay. So you get white, navy blue, and pink, um, which is like a true pink. I thought it was going to be a peach color, seeing the um, like little bag that all the washies came in, but it's it's more of a true pink color. Um, and they have little dots and stars on them, which I think is really unique as opposed to just like the bow ones that I have so far of the mini ones. So I like those. I love putting those in between like boxes and stuff in my weekly spreads. So then we have the, I'm just going to keep these in. This is like a dark blue or like a navy blue type color with the rose foiled bows. And then we have this kind of sweater one, which I love how I just said you can assume that it's foiled, but this is a pattern one that is not foiled. Um, and it's just like the knitted sweater type pattern. Let me pull it out so you guys can see. And it's gray, which is really nice. I'll have to find a winter spread to use that with. But I really like that simple, that simple pattern. Um, so there is that one. I saw a lot of people selling these washies on the buy sell trade group and I was like, you guys don't want those? <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that. And then we have these, which are foiled. Um, this is the skinny, um, like sweater pattern, I guess. I don't know how to say it. It's like a stitching. 
um let me see and it's that dark blue type of colored background again with the rose um, gold foiling and it has little hearts on it I'll definitely be able to use these into January I think as long as I have spreads that match the the colors and then lastly we have this one which is like a bunny sweater <laughs> I don't know they look kind of pixelated um, which makes me think of it as like a stitching but they have the little like bow details that are foiled and then the little bunnies and there's even like a little lace type trim at the top and the bottom so that is the mystery kit for this month I really love those um, and then that's just little cards so that is the Simply Gilded box. Okay, now I'm gonna move into, actually there's other washies in here. So this is my order that was for the September pre-sales. And um, I'm, not, I'm not gonna open the advent calendar just yet in case you guys wanna see the washies that I got. So this is a journaling card that came with it, which is very fitting because it's my birthday, or was my birthday by the time you guys are seeing this on Monday. So I love that, and it says YOLO at the bottom. This is like a little bag, I think, to like put all the your like little um, advent calendar stuff into, but I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. It's gold foiled. Um, and then, like I said, I won't open anything yet for the advent calendar, so I'll move that out of the way. Move that out of the way. <laughs> and these are the washies that I purchased from the pre-sale. Um, so they're very like pink for me, which is new. Um, but I did get a blue and a black. So I got the five millimeter bows to match the releases from this pre-sale, which love that. Um, I did get the black polka dots, which I don't know when I'll use them, but I figured they're neutral, so might as well, and they're gold foil. Um, I got the blue with silver, which I really love that I have this blue now because I feel like I've done a few spreads that this would have matched with, but it's more of like a brighter blue. It almost matches my nails, which is kind of cool. Um, we have this pink, which is a brighter pink than like the traditional, um, what's it called? Or is it the same? I think it's the same as this, um, but it's silver foiled, so I needed a pink with silver foil. Um, and then we have, like, this really bright purple. Um, I forget what she called this. Orchid with silver foil. So there's that one. And then we got this with silver foil, which was Dusk. Oh, the pink is called Blush Pink. And the blue is Cloud Blue. This is um, Dusk with silver foil as well. This almost matches the... Oh, no, it's not. This is a little bit more teal. This is a little bit more on the purple side. Um, but again, silver foiled. And then lastly, we got sugar plum here, which is like a purplish and blue ombre with silver foil. So very excited about that. Now I'm going to do advent calendar stuff. So if you don't want to see that, please look away. But this is what comes in the little advent. Oh, there's a, there's a blue freebie. Um, so this is what comes in the Simply Gilded. It's a 12-day advent, um, and I really love that all of the little packages are different patterns. I think that's awesome, and there's little bunny seals on the back. So should we start from 12 or 1? Let's see, where's 12? I kind of want to start with 12. I feel like... I never know if you start with 12 or 1. I think I'm going to start with 12, um, and I think... I'm doing three. 12, 11, 10. I have to double check on that. But I think that's correct. Let me check my planner. I want to know down below if any of you guys have advent calendars. Well, I feel like by this time, if you guys have advent calendars, you would have flipped off already. One, two, three, four. Not three, four. Today is actually Sunday, so I'm opening the fourth one. So we need number nine. Um, 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 here it goes. So let's do 12 first, which is this black package, which I love so much. So we have to rip the little bunny ears. I'm so sorry. We're ripping, we're ripping, we're ripping. Okay, so. Oh, that's really cute. It's one of those keychains. It's very similar to the bear one. I love that. 
and it's like the hot gold foil and it has a rose and a pink bow on it. That's really sweet. I should put that on like my um, backpack or something. I like how they're facing different directions too so like any way you look at it you have some sort of color. So that's fun. Um, and then we have number 11 which is this pink one. I hate ripping stickers. It makes me feel like a bad person. <laughs> So let's move this. Um, so we have a washi. We have holographic bow pink polka dot, which is fun. This is going to look really good with a Valentine's Day spread. I can tell. So there's that. And then we have 10, which beautiful teal color. Oh, we have little five millimeter bows. This reminds me of the carousel mystery box she did. It's um, gold foiling, not hot gold, not like this gold, but a little duller. Um, and you have pink, white, and like a greenish, rudely interrupted by my camera. But I just opened the little five millimeter washi. Um, and then lastly, for this haul, we have number nine, which is another washi. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's a constellation washi. <gasps> It's so pretty. I feel like this is the one that I saw a ton of people looking for. So it's like the Constellation Washi from all of the Galaxy stuff, I believe. Um, I have mine right next to me from the Galaxy Mystery Kit that she did. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, so it's like the same galaxy pattern um, but the background is like a much brighter blue with this kind of greenish aquamarine color and the foiling is holographic this is beautiful I need to find a spread that I can use this with this is amazing oh my gosh I'm so happy <laughs> so it was a good choice opening from 12 backwards because I got to see this which I'm very pleased with but I'm going to keep all this stuff in here so that I don't accidentally use it um I don't know I'm trying to be like really nice and secretive about this stuff but like I want to use this stuff so I don't know how to go about it but that is everything from the simply gilded advent box for right now let's go ahead and do the um scribble prints once more with love one so I have quite a few days from that because this is every day. Um, so we have this journaling card. I'm going to kind of go quickly. Oh my gosh. So the most wonderful time of year with baby it's cold outside on the back. We had this little post-it note on the back, which is a Once More With Love product, um, which, oh my gosh, the same, I just realized that the same matches. <laughs> so there's that one. Um, we have the baby it's cold outside journaling card same backing and then these are silver foiled bows they're the scribble prints bows and the once more with love bows which is really cute um that would be good for like new releases or something we have this one with a little winter quote and the gray bow on the back and then these are christmas stickers which i'm very tempted to put these in to my kiki k setup right now um but they're gold foiled we have the bows the two bows together on a white background and these are like the very end of the um advent calendar um because I started with the Christmas stuff or the winter time stuff and then I went to the front of the advent calendar because I wanted to be able to use the winter stuff now um and you got two of these really skinny washies the blue one focus please. The blue one is silver foiled um, with snowflakes and then the pink one is gold foil with like little springtime flowers which is really cute. And then we have this little Andrea munchkin with Marg on the back and this is like the little thank you bonus because um, there's actually 26 um, like pages so this is, I guess is the bonus one um, but it has Marg and Andrea on there and a ton of little stickers dividers and then some half boxes we have this gold bow and this is in front of a spring like bucket list and it's silver foiled in um, J. Crew plans handwriting and then we have this one welcome to all the new beginnings 
with a pink bow on the back. And these I love because I use these for memory keeping, like little um, knickknacks or photos or anything like that in my main planner. So we have this teeny tiny one here, and then we have this much bigger one, Stop and Smell the Flowers, with a munchkin on it. So I love that those were included. I hope that there's more because I really like those. Um, but that is it for the Scribble Prints one as of now. Um, next we will do... Let's do planting roses. So we have 11, day 11, 10, 9, and 8. So the 11th was the like bills or plan stickers. And I really like that she included both of those um, scripts in there because you could really use these for either it's like envelopes, a desk calendar, and then I think an iPad. So that's really cute, very neutral. The 10th, we got this beautiful journaling card, which I don't know who drew this, but it's really nice. It's silver foil, and it says, difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations, which I love that quote. So, definitely going to hang on to that. Day 9 was this, like, planner clips. Um, so there's a bow, a heart, and a rose one. You get two rows of each. And then on the 8th, there's these like dinner plate settings, which I think is really nice for if you, I go out to dinner um, and don't have a specific food sticker for. So very pleased with those. And then we have the sticky committee, which I actually haven't opened any of these on camera yet. Um, so I have one, two, three, and four. The first day is... Oh, I have one of my scribble prints in here. That's funny. I think this was the second one that I ever opened, but it has this journaling card and then these like little wintertime scribblers. Oopsies, just mixed everything up. Hope you guys don't mind. Um, so this sticky committee first bag had these really cute little planner clips, which I'm not sure where she got these from, but I love them. I'm actually going to put this one in my Kiki K right now, but it is a little ornament with like glitter in it um, on a gold paper clip, and you put it at the bottom of a page so it hangs down, which is really cute. Um, there's all of these like script ones, and there's three that say love. Um, and they're rose gold. And then there's this one, which is like a envelope with a little heart on the seal. And then there's this really big clip here, which I'm thinking about tying like ribbon onto to make a planner clip. So there are those. And then there is this washi here, which is gold foiled and um, pink and white. And it's like a geometric pattern. It is one of those that has like a paper backing. Oh my gosh, please come out of the packaging just ripped it it's fine um but yeah it's just like a geometric pattern um with gold foil which is really cute so that was day one day two was a post-it note which is ombre which is really pretty there's 30 in there i love post-it notes um and then there's this really cute keychain which is silver and it is a little bow so Lots of keychains this time around, which is kind of fun. Number three is an overlay, which, very exciting. It's a New Year's one, um, and they're full box overlays. So there are those, and they're gold foil. So I'm probably going to use this in my rewind spread. I'll have to check which kits I have planned for that. So you have, like, the fireworks and stuff like that. And then the fourth, we have these little like washies um, and they're a light blue. I don't know if you can tell, but like the actual washi strip is kind of like a light blue background. It's not true white um, and they're not transparent, but they are like silver foiled snowflakes. I actually think that I'm gonna use these in my spread coming up. So yeah, but I think those are really, really pretty. So those are all of the things from the advent calendar. I'm going to move the advent calendar stuff so I don't accidentally give away any secrets. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm really trying. <laughs> so there are all the washies. I'm going to put out some stuff for the ending of this video so that we can have a nice little, little ending photo. Let's get some like actual stickers in here, like the fox and cactus ones we'll put right here. But I hope you guys are enjoying all of these hauls. I know it's a lot of hauls, but I don't know. 
I just, I had all these packages and I didn't really have an idea for another, um, like, what's it called? Another, like, um, mock plan with me. So I decided I'd just go with, I'd go with sticker, sticker hauls for the month of December. My gift to you. <laughs> um, but definitely, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.